I was eight years old and started here in Phoenix when Phoenix was a little town and my parents built a house on the six, by the sixth green at Phoenix Country Club. It was in the heart of the depression and not too many people were playing so we snuck on the golf course and I was playing every afternoon after school and, and every day. I was so confident, no, nobody else was any good. A couple of hustlers came through town and you probably heard of Barry Goldwater who was, ran for president. I cleaned up on, won a lot of money. And then Pearl Harbor came and I signed up that night for the military or the Air Corps and they couldn't take me for six months. They didn't have enough field. So I played all day, every day. And in that time, I became the best I've ever been by far. Five or six years, I built a little nine hole course in Scottsdale. And I played the Phoenix Open every year and, and things like that. And, and Rossberg and Arnold Palmer were staying at my house. My son always brags that I made the cut and both of them missed the cut. Three months later, Palmer won the Masters. Yeah, I, I, I take the credit. I meant to reply to that is baloney. <laughs> <laughs>
five years before he ran into somebody like that. A lot of famous people played there, a lot of wealthy people. Now, now it's not the same. So I played from then on, it was about 19, 1960, and I played the Phoenix Open every year and, and things like that. And I usually made the cut, but never earned any money. What was your best finish? My best finish was probably the year even before the war when I was, um, I probably was, my best finish might have been 35th, something like that. Money only went to something like 20 places in okay. those days. And uh, I know in 1958, it was the year my first job opened up, and so I was working at the course and they, I got an exemption to play at the Phoenix Open, but I didn't, have, I didn't practice because I was working every day. And Rossberg and Arnold Palmer were staying at my house because in those days they saved money. Now they'd stay at the Biltmore or the fanciest resort, but in those days they'd stay at people's houses. And Rossberg was my best friend and he always brought somebody with him and that year he brought Arnold Palmer, and my son always brags that I made the cut and both of them missed the cut. That was in 40, 50, 58, and about three months later, Palmer won the Masters for the first time, and Rossberg won the PGA later. So it's all yours, though, and you helped them? Yeah, I, I, I take the credit. Surprised my wife, I got on an earlier flight, and I was supposed to be at 10, I came in at 8, about 8.30. Open the door. Phyllis Diller's playing the piano, Sammy Davis out on the floor dancing. I didn't know either, <laughs> one of them was, either one of them was standing there. But that's the way it was. Yeah. Sometimes.